Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and all the ships at sea. Welcome to tonight's Walpole Media Corporation, Friday, November 17, 2023 broadcast of Walpole High School Varsity Football. My name is Rick Brown, your voice of Walpole High Sports. I'll be calling all the action from Bridgewater Raynham High School Field, uh, also known as the home of the Trojans, uh, as your Walpole High Timberwolves meet the Scarlet Hawks of Milford High in a semifinal action of the MIA Division III playoffs. Tonight's winner will play the victor of tomorrow's Westfield Milton contest in the D3 Super Bowl in Gillette Stadium on either Friday, December 1st or Saturday, December 2nd. Going back to 2012, Walpole has won the previous three meetings with Milford, 34-19 in 2019, 21-14 in 2016, and 41-14 two years before that. After the scintillating 39-31 victory over Mansfield in the quarterfinals, Walpole will be chasing their seventh straight win. The Timberwolves come in as the fourth seed with an overall 7-3 record and are ranked 12th in the Boston Globe Top 20. Max Preps ranks Milford in the ninth place in Massachusetts, two spots ahead of Walpole. Junior quarterback Noah McKenzie uh, put the team on his shoulders in the fourth quarter against Mansfield, rushing for 95 yards and a pair of touchdowns in the incredible six-touchdown ending stanza. The Orange and Blue has won just one of four road games all at the beginning of the season and are outscoring their opponents 30-17. to However, in the six-game win streak, Walpole has exploded for 240 to 91 advantage. Milford is the top seed at nine and one overall, three and one, and runner-up in the Kelly Rex division of the Hockamock League. The Scarlet Hawks uh, are four and one on the road, outscoring their opponents 29 to 10, and are ranked fifth in the Boston Globe. The Scarlet and White's only setback was a 23-14 loss to unbeaten King Philip, a team that shut out Walpole on opening night, 31 to nothing, and is uh, won last night and will be going to the Division II Super Bowl for the sixth time in seven years. Milford opened the season with the 40-7 decision of Bridgewater Raynham right here at this very stadium. Once again, I don't see how this can be considered a neutral site by the MIAA when one of the team plays here, I don't see the neutrality at all. The Hawks followed this with back-to-back -back shutouts of Wellesley 24 to nothing and Natick 7 to nothing before rolling past Attleboro 48-14, North Attleboro 33-14, and Lowell 35 to 20. Following the KP loss, Milford blanked Franklin 24 to nothing and has tournament victories against Stoughton, 38-7, and North Attleboro, 24-17. We, uh, so we'll stop here for the playing of the national anthem. The uh, opening coin toss, Walpole won the coin toss, deferred to the second half, and will be kicking off going right to left on your TV screen. Uh, 
Nick Araujo does it all for Milford with nine touchdowns, four field goals, and 27 PATs for third in the division, 87 points. Andrew Rivera has uh, tallied seven scores, six on pass receptions from quarterback Jack Buckley, who has scored six times himself and thrown 15 TD passes, one spot below Walpole's Noel McKenzie, who has 21 TD passes. Senior Jamal Abdal Kalak, how you doing, guys? Uh, leads the T-Wolves with 13 uh, end zone romps for 78 points. Tied for seventh in the division. Jamal's 10 TD receptions are second best in the division. Nick Foynes getting ready to kick off. And we will be underway very shortly. Foynes approaches and booms one back down deep. It's taken back on the five yard line up to the 10, 15, 20. Going to the sideline and haul down about the 24-yard line. And that's where Milford will take over first and 10 on their own 24-yard line. Uh, now they're going to say that they, he made it up over to the 26-yard line. Snap a handoff up the middle. Big gainer here up to the 39, yeah, maybe the 40, and a first down. Arujo with that carrier, they're gonna give him up to the 39 yard line. In motion, going back, hand off again to Arujo, going around the left this time. Got it, and he steps out of bounds right at the yard marker. It looks like they are going to give him another first down, and Milford goes right to the uh, 49 yard line. So. Two running plays, two first downs for the Scarlet Hawks. Snap to Buckley, hands off to Arujo again. Going to the right side this time, picks up about five into Walpole territory to the 46 yard line. Second and five for Milford. Again, keeper by Buckley. He's got the open field and he's dropped at about the 36 yard line of Walpole. Looks like uh, another first down for uh, Milford. They're going right down the field. Hawks first and 10 from the 36. They snap the head off. Araujo go up the middle, still on his feet. He breaks through, gets down to about the 28 maybe. And that's where they're going to mark it at the wall pole 28. Uh, it looks like Owen Callahan is a quarterback for Milford, number two, unless he's changed uniform jerseys. Uh, Buckley is listed as number one, but we will see here. Hand off to Araujo going around the left side. He's got room, he's going. Heading down. Touchdown. Arujo goes 28 yards. 
And Milford goes on top. Uh, let's see, two minutes and 46 seconds into the game here. Aruja going to line up for the extra point. The ball is down. The kick is up and through. Rujo kick. And Milford goes marching down the field and takes a 7 0 lead here. The Walpole will be coming right back now. Back deep for the Timberwolves. Abdal, Jamal Abdal Kalak. The shot men, uh, John Dayer and uh, Logan Keyes. Back deep, number two, Jamal Abdel Khalif. On its way, oh, a shot kick, and it's taken. Fair catch called and taken there by uh, Jake Gondelman, and Walpole will get it on their own 38-yard line, it looks like. first and 10 from the 39-yard line. Walco comes up. Noah McKenzie all alone in the backfield. Back to pass. He's going to run with it himself. Cuts, gets inside, gets a butt to 43. For 42, it looks like. Pickup of four for Noah. Second down, six for. Walpole. Walpole, second and seven. Keys the back now with McKenzie. Trips on the right. McKenzie back to pass. Looks, fires deep. Oh, just over the head. Just over the head of Paul Whalen. Third down for the Timberwolves. Once again, trips on the right. Again, McKenzie back to pass. Look, going long. He's got Jamal. Yes. Oh, just overthrown. And Walpole will be forced to kick away here. Jamal was about a step shot on that reception down around the 15-yard line. And he was behind uh, the defender, so that could have been a six-pointer for Walpole. Nick Foynes punting for Walpole. High snap, gets it off. Booming kick. Going back to the 20 and knocked out of bounds at about the 25 is number three, number Jason three Stokes. And Milford will take over on their 25-yard 
five. Hawks first and ten from the 25 yeah. yard line. Good showing by the brigade up in that far right corner of the stands, dressed in white. Pass going deep and incomplete. They were looking for. Uh, Thomas Sisto. On the defense, number eight, Danny Casario. Brings up a second and, and ten. 11, Shane Brennan, second down. Hand off to Araujo in the middle of the line. This time he gets snow. He gets up to about the 28. Arujo on the carry, stopped by the Arujo. Arujo. defense. To the 27, they're going to mark it. Pickup of about two. Third and eight for the Scarlet Hawks. Third and seven from the Back to pass as Buckley going long. Again, off the hands, incomplete. Great defense out there by uh, McKenzie. No McKenzie out there on defense. And it'll bring up a fourth and eight. I'm sorry, that was Kevin Needham, not. Uh, not uh, thing. Kevin. Sorry about that, Kevin. It was Kevin Needham out there on that defensive play. <coughs> Lone man back for Walpole is Jamal Abdal Kalak. And it looks like a procedure on offense. Move it back. So it'll be fourth and about 12 now. Jamal standing at the 43 of Walpole, waiting Araujo's kick, punt. Big shot kick. It's Abdal Kalak gets it. Picked it up, gets to the midfield, and that's where Walpole will take over, right on the 50-yard line. Timber will start first and 10, splitting the field at the 50. Walpole, a little, uh, the ball bounced between uh, three players and it hit one, and Jamal was able to pick it up and get a couple of yards before uh, he was knocked down. McKenzie going to his left, coming back again, going and hauled down at the 45 of Walpole. A loss of five on the play. Helped by number 56, Nicholas Coins. Second down. Second and 15. Noah tried to go into his right, came back, tried looking for his left, was thinking to go into his right, but couldn't get out in time. Obviously, uh, Milford saw the fourth quarter of last week's game, so they know Noah can run. Kenzie going, fakes the pass, and goes out of bounds at about the 47. Pickup of two. It'll 
bring up a third and 12, third and 13. Third and 13. Six minutes, six seconds left to go in the first quarter. Kenzie back to pass, looking, firing long. He's got Jamal, Jamal gets it. Matt St. Cyr with the catch at the 14 of Milford. 39 yards. And a timeout call by Milford. Walpole with a big pick up there. And 39 yards on that play and a first down for the Timberwolves in the red zone at the 14 yard line. First and ten from the fourteen. come up to the line. Logan Keys the lone back. He gets the ball, his first touch into the middle of the line, gets down to about the ten. Number 18, Logan Keyes on the carry. That's where the marker pick up a four. Second down, second and six. Second down, six yards to go for Walpole. Just outside the 10 yard line. St. Cyr, Whalen, and Abdal Kalak, the wide receivers on the left. McKenzie tries to McKenzie run up the middle, gets stopped at the line of scrimmage, it looks like. No gain on the play. Third down and six. Walpole comes up to the line. Cash Cantrell split wide left. Mackenzie fires incomplete. And it'll bring up a fourth down and six. Uh, looks like Nick Foynes is going to try the field goal. He's got five this year. This will be about a 22-yarder. 27-yard attempt. The snap, the ball is down, the kick is up. It is good. Nick Foynes puts Walpole on the board. 27 yard field goal. Put three up, it'll be seven for Hawks, three for the Timberwolves. Time of the score, six minutes, 35, seven minutes, 35 seconds. And Walpole trails now seven to three. 
<clears throat> so Walpole uh, moved the ball well down the field there. The big play, the 39-yard hookup between uh, Matt St. Cyr and uh, Noel McKenzie. Back deep for Milford, Jason Stokes, and Aiden Watson. Kick is on its way to go in to uh, Stokes. Coming up to the 15, hit there, gets to the 20, and he's dropped at the 20. Milford will take over there on their own 21, I think is where they're going to mark it. First by number nine, Jake Donaldson. On the Austin 21 yard line. Hand off to Araujo. Trying to get around the left, he cuts up field, he's got a hole. Big run again, and he goes out of bounds on the 46 yard line of Milford. Pickup of 25 on the play, new set of downs for the Scarlet Hawks. Hand off to Araujo again, gets maybe a yard. Right. Uh, Scudo, okay. No, pick up of one. Second down. Second down nine for the red and the scarlet and white. And this will be a illegal procedure. The man cut up field before the ball was snapped. Procedure, so that'll move the ball back five yards. Bring up a second and 12, 13, second and 13 for Milford. Actually, it looks almost like, yeah, second and 14. Hand off to Araujo coming around this way and gets nowhere. He'll hit me for a loss. He may have got to the 40. I think it looks like they may give him the 41. Uh, they're actually going to give him the 42, so there's no gain on the play. Third down, 14 for Milford. Third down, third and 14. And a timeout being called by Milford. Okay, we're back here now. Third and 14 for Milford. Fake to Arugo, pass knocked down. Great play. Yeah, 
Uh, Mike Frederick and Aiden Abadi, Abadi knocking that ball down. And it'll be a bring up a fourth down for Milford. Abdal Kalak going back to about the 25, maybe a little bit further, maybe to the 20. Arajo's kick. It's shot. And it'll be downed on the 31 by Milford, and that's where Walpole will take over on their own 31 yard line. Two minutes, 24 seconds to go, and what is a kind of a slow first quarter here. Walpole trailing here, seven to three. Nick Foynes towed a 27-yard field goal for Walpole. Nick Arajo scored from 28 yards out and kicked the extra point for Milford. Pitch left to Keyes, he cuts up field. Still on his feet, gets up to about the 39. There's a flag in the backfield, looks like. Holding on Walpole. That'll move the ball back 10. Make it first and 20 for the Timberwolves. Are they gonna do it? So it's a point, a spot foul. So it'll move it back to the uh, 24. Well, so that was a pickup of three by Keys. What the fuck? Fires complete. So Abdal Kalaki's still fighting and. He will be brought down. They're marking that on the 23. A loss of one. Second down. And 17 for Walpole. Mackenzie back to pass, looking, going over the middle. Great catch, great leaping catch by uh, Will, Will McGrath. Up to the 49 yard line, uh, pick up of 25. McGrath went up high, pulled that ball in between two defenders. First down for Walpole on their own 49 yard line. Hand off to Keys. He's got a little bit of room, gets down to about the 47 of Milford. He's on the carry. Pick up of three in the play. He picks up five, it'll be second down five. Five, 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 five. I'm sorry about that. 46. That's right, it was on the other side of the 50. <laughs> And that looks like it will end the first quarter here from Bridgewater Raynham High School Field with Milford on top, seven and three on this Division Three MIAA semifinal, state semifinal game. So. Araujo has been doing the bulk of the offense for uh, Milford, but Walpole has been coming right back. Uh, 
Noah's made a couple of good, nice passes. And, uh, you know, it's both teams are showing that they can move the ball. So they will switch sides now, and Walpole will be going from left to right on for this quarter. All right, second down for Walpole. Oh, first off, Walpole. Mackenzie rolling to his left, looks, fires, incomplete. Third down, five yards to go for the Timberwolves. near hash mark. Cantrell split wide right. Cutting across over the middle, it's Keys. He's got it in the 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, and knocked out of bounds at about the 18 yard line. Gonna mark it on the 18. So that'll be a pickup of uh, 36 on the play. Hand off to Keys, cuts the corner, cuts in. Big hole for him going, and he's brought down at about the six, four yard line. It'll be first and goal for Walpole. Pick up of 12 for Keys. First and goal from the Timberwolves, knocking at the door in the shadow of the goalposts. McKenzie comes out with the play. And Walpole calls timeout. 11.13 to go in the half. Walpole down seven to three, but knocking on the door at the four yard line. Big play passing for uh, McKenzie. He's completed four of uh, four of nine, but for 88 yards. So he's hitting some big uh, throws here. Logan Keys with four carries. Fifty-four yards. Both teams coming back out. First and goal for Walpole at the four. McKenzie's gonna keep it. Spins around and he's dropped for a loss back at about the six yard line. Loss of two in the play. Second and goal from the six. break the huddle. McKenzie back to pass, looks, he's got keys. Oh, knocked away at the last second. Good defensive play by uh, Alex Guerrera. 
third and goal for Walpole. Third and goal from the six yard line. See Whalen and Abdal Kalak on the left, Kentrell on the right. Looking to pass. Complete to Cash Cantrell. Uh, six yard pass reception for the touchdown. So Walpole jumps onto the lead here. That's Cantrell's first touchdown of the year. Nick Foyne's ready for the extra point here. There's the snap, the ball is down, the kick is up and drilled through. And it's 14, uh, 10, 10 to seven, Walpole's lead. So Walpole strikes back here. The offense is still good. Like we said, they scored, outscored um, their opponents in this six game winning streak. I think, what did I say, 290 yards, uh, 290 points. Uh, let's see. Two hundred and forty points in six games. Foynes kicking off. Goes back to Stokes on the 9, 10, 15, 20. And brought down at the 25 yard line. And that's where Milford will take over on their own 25. And off to Araujo, gets up to the 30, pick up a five. Araujo on the carry. Wrapped up by number 52, Brendan Kearns. Hawks, second and five. Second down, five to go for Milford. Clock running. The handoff to Watson, and he's dropped for a loss at the 30, 29 yard line. A loss of a yard on the play. <clears throat> Bring up a third and six for Milford. Watson split wide, wide left. And we have a timeout call by uh, Milford. Timeout call by Milford, yeah. So, Walpole's defense, big play coming up here. 
<laughs> like we said, uh, Walpole is taking the lead here now, 10 to seven on a, a six yard TD pass from Noah McKenzie to Cash Cantrell. Cantrell's first touchdown of the year. The ball setting on the far hash marks. Third down here for the Hawks. In motion is Watson. Buckley back to pass. He's being chased. Intercepted! 20, on the 20 yard line by Kevin Needham. Uh, nope. Brendan, Burns, Brendan Kearns with the interception for Walpole. And Walpole <clears throat> will have a first and goal from the eight yard line. Walpole with another chance to put one into the end zone here. Hand off to Keys up the middle, gets down close. He's down to about the one yard line. Pickup of seven for Keys. <clears throat> second and goal. Second down, second and goal from the two. Walpole comes up to the line. Hand off to Keys, but he's buried back at the five yard line. A loss of three in the play. <clears throat> Third down and goal from the five. Walpole calls a timeout here. 7.28 to go in the half. <clears throat> Third and goal from the five for the Timberwolves, who lead 10 to seven in this MIAA Division III state semifinal game. The winner of today's game will go to the Super Bowl at Gillette Stadium, about six, six miles from Walpole High School. I think that's gonna be at least the third time out for uh, Milford. Okay, the Hawks out on the field. And Walpole coming over the line now. <clears throat> Cantrell moving in closer now. McKenzie back to pass. Looking, looking. Throwing to the back of the end zone. Abdel Kalak with the catch. Jamal Abdel Kalak. That is a uh, five yard TD pass. Time, four minutes, 39 seconds. Okay. <clears throat> and Nick Foyne's ready for the extra point. 
Paul Whalen is his holder. The snap, the ball is down, the kick is up, and right through. Walpole <laughs> jumps on top now, 20, uh, 17 to 10. 17 to seven. As the Timberwolves have struck twice here. So Walpole, both teams come back upfield now. We have seven minutes, 21 seconds left in the first half. The momentum has definitely swung over to Walpole's side with uh, two touchdowns in the space of uh, three minutes, just under three minutes. <clears throat> Foyne's getting ready to kick off. Ball goes down, taken by Stokes on the 5, 10, 15, 20. And he gets up to about out of bounds at about the 27 yard line of Milford. And that's where the Hawks will take over. They move it up to the 28. Hawks have first and 10. 28 now. From the 28 yard line. Whistle here. I don't know what the delay is. Okay, the snap to Buckley, hands off to Raho. Raho pushes his way up to about the 33. Pickup of five on the play. So. Second down, five. Second and four. to pass, throws over in the flat, knocked down, hit just in time. That was uh, Shane Brennan with the defense there for Walpole. Hit the receiver just as the ball got to him. Nick Araujo, uh, coming off on the sideline here being talked to by a couple of the uh, training staff. Milford can ill afford to lose him. Buckley hands off, no, keeps it. And he's tripped up by, nice play. What a play. Tripped up by uh, uh, Matt Renard, one of Walpole's captains, got his hand out there. 32. So Milford will kick it away. Abdal Kalak at the 39 of Walpole. Kick goes back and goes out of bounds. Up high on a short kick. We'll see where they mark it here. They're gonna mark it on the 39 yard line. And that's where Walpole will take over on their own 39 yard line. First and 10. With five minutes and 48 seconds left in the half. Your Timberwolves on top, 17 to seven. They've scored 17 straight points after uh, Milford scored on their opening drive.
Hand off to Keys. Keys gets it up to about the 40, maybe. Uh, they're gonna mark him on the 39, so no gain on the play. Second and ten for Walpole. McKenzie back to pass, going deep, way overthrown. Third and 10 for Walpole. Kenzie out with the play. Walpole comes up to the line. Third and 10. McKenzie back to pass. It's being chased. And he is still down. Will be dropped. Fumble. Ball loose. And Milford says they have it. Back at the Walpole 26 yard line. Kenzie was trying to uh, set up for a pass, had to come out of the pocket, was chased, knocked down from behind and lost the ball. It was picked up by uh, Milford with a whole bunch of people trying to get on top of to control it. But Milford comes away with it. So it'll be a first and 10 for the Hawks. 4.56 left in the half. Buckley keeping the ball, cut a cut back, and he is dropped at the 24. Pick up of two. Second down, second and eight. Second down, eight yards to go. Buckley back to pass, looking, going deep. A lot of pushing and shoving down there. No pass, nothing though. Incomplete. Nick Araujo looks like he's ready to go, and he is. Araujo's coming back in. He got tended to by the training staff. So he comes in, Scudo comes out for Milford. Second and 10, uh, I'm sorry, third and eight. Third and eight for uh, Milford. <coughs> I would say we're in two down territory here. Gives it to Araujo, and he goes out of bounds at the 22. The 22 picked up two on that play. It'll bring up a fourth down and about, uh, fourth and about six. Five, five and a half. And it looks like uh, Arujo's gonna try a field goal here. This will be a 39 yard attempt by Arujo. Snap, the ball is down, the kick is up, and it is no good, wide left. So Walpole will take over on the 22 yard line. Walpole will take the ball over on downs. First and 10 from the 20. Uh, 
Timberwolves first and 10 from the 22. Should be on the 22. They're placing it down on the 20. I don't know why it's on the 20, but Walpole lost two yards on that play. Okay, carry a good pickup. That's Keys. He gets up to the 24. Pick up a four by Keys. Up by number 44, Owen Matthews. Second down. Second. Second and six. And six for the Timberwolves. Clock running, three, 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 showing on the clock, left on the half. And off up the middle, it's Keys. He's got running room, still going. No, Johnny Dayer up to the 35 yard line, 34 is where they're gonna mark him. Pickup of 10 by Dayer, his first carry of the game. Let's go, Johnny! And a first down for Walpole. First and 10 from the 34. Dayer to McKenzie's left, Keys to his right. And off to Keys going around the left side, trying to cut up field, he does. He gets, uh, no, a flag comes in late at the 40 yard line. Number 34, Andrew Rivera on the tackle. And this looks like it's gonna go against Walpole. Another spot foul. Or is it uh, from the line of scrimmage? Uh, looks like they're gonna mark it from, yeah, from the spot foul, so it goes back to the, yeah. Uh, back to the 31 for Walpole. It'll be first and 14. Keys with the ball, gets it up to the 32. Pick up of a yard. Tip up by number 56, Keith Lee. Taken down by number 75, Tony D. 2 11 to go in the half. Second down. Second, second and 12 for Walpole. Snap. McKenzie rolling to his right. He's looking. Gets away. Fires. Complete to Abdel Kalak. He's got in the 40. 50. Go, still losing 40, 35, 30 on the far sideline, stops and goes out of bounds at the 28 yard line of Milford. Pick up of 40 yards on the play. Pick up a 40 on that play by Jamal. Showing why he's one of the most feared players in all of Eastern Mass. First and 10 for Walpole on the 28. Oh, a pitch back to, Ma to Kalak. He's got a first down, goes out of bounds at about the end. A late flag comes in. That'll be on Milford for hitting Dal Kalak after he was out of bounds. So it goes down to the 16. Pickup of 12 by Jamal. And with the penalty, unsportsmanlike on uh, Milford. 
All the way down to the seven yard line, first and goal for Walpole. As a crushing penalty there for, uh, <coughs> it was, I mean, Abdal Kalak picked up 12 yards on the play, but then he got hit. He was definitely out of bounds when he got hit, and they, they flagged it. First and goal for Walpole. Hand off to Keys, cuts up the middle, goes in. Touchdown, Walpole! Eight yard run, seven yard run for Keys. Eight yard run is what they're going to give him. And Walpole starting to pull away here. Time, 10-16, uh, 11-6 to 10-16. 10.36. Nick Foynes getting ready for the extra point. There's the snap, the ball is down, the kick is up and right through. Nick comes through again. Walpole's lead is now 24 to 7. As Walpole has scored 24 straight points here in this first half. With a minute 24 to go in the half. Uh, Walpole's offense is clicking on all cylinders here tonight again. Once again, the same way it has for the last six uh, games. C.J. Farrell and uh, Aiden Watson back deep for uh, Milford. Foyne's kick is on its way. Goes over to Farrell. Farrell comes up to the 15, cutting to the 20, and goes out of bounds about the 23-yard line maybe. That's where Milford will take over. Fox first and ten from the twenty one. They're going to mark him out on the twenty one yard line. Minute eighteen to go in the half. Hand off to Araujo. He gets up to the 25. Pick up a four on the play. Met by number 50, Michael Frederick. Mike Frederick on the tackle for Walpole, another one of the Timberwolf captains. And off to, no, Buckley keeps it, and he's dropped in the backfield by 59. Uh, uh, Matt Renard on the tackle. Back at the 25. So they, they're giving them line of scrimmage. 29 seconds to, left to go. Walpole wow. takes a timeout. It'll be third and about eight. Third and about eight for Milford. 29 seconds left to go in the half. Your Timberwolves on top, 24 to seven.
third and about seven for Milford. Buckley fakes, keeps it, gets to the 29. Pick up a four. That could be the last play of the half. We're down to 12 seconds. It looks like uh, Milford's gonna let the clock run out and try to regroup at halftime. That's what's gonna happen. Milford lets the clock run out. And we are at halftime here at uh, Bridgewater Raynham High School with your Timberwolves stunning, the, the top seeded Milford Scarlet Hawks 24 to seven. Game didn't start out great for Walpole as Nick Araujo ra raced in from 28 yards, kicked the extra point, and Milford was on top just 246 into the game. That's been the highlight for the game so far. Uh, <coughs> Nick Foynes kicked a 27-yard field goal at the 735 mark of the first quarter, and at the end of the first 12 minutes of play, Walpole trailed 7-3. The second quarter was all Walpole, though. Cash Cantrell, his first touchdown of the year, a six-yard reception from Noah, Noah McKenzie. Foynes' his extra point put Walpole on top for the first time, 10-7 at 141. Then less than three minutes later, uh, after an interception, uh, Jamal abdal Kalak pulled in a five-yard pass. Uh, Foynes' his extra point made it 17-7. And then at 10-36 of the half, uh, Nolan Ke uh, Logan Keyes races in from eight yards, Foyne's extra point makes it where we stand right now, 24 to seven. So we will be back shortly uh, with second half action. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Bridgewater Raynham High School, where we are about to begin the second half of this MIAA Division III state semifinal football game with your Walpole Timberwolves stunning top-ranked Milford 24 to 7 and Walpole gets the ball there's a long kick goes to Abdal Kalak at the 2 he's 10 50 going straight up the middle to the 20 cutting over and gets up to the 28 yard line Walpole will take over first and 10 on their own 28 yard line Timberwolves come up to the line. Logan Keys the lone back, trips on the left. Keys goes in motion, throws over to him, incomplete. incomplete. Second and 10 for Walpole. Uh, actually, they're saying that was a... Oh, McKenzie keeping it. Going up to the out of bounds on the 37 yard line, 38 yard line. It will be just shot of a first down. No, it's going to give it, they're giving it to him. First down for Walpole. Look for a first down, it'll be first down for Walpole. First and 10 from the 38. That was a design play as Noah took it immediately, stepped up and raced, raced off the right side. New set of downs for the orange and blue. Going over the middle, incomplete. Looked like he was looking for uh, he was looking for uh, Saint Cyr on that pass. 
second and 10. Kenzie back to pass, firing over the hands. Up high on that pass. He was looking for uh, McGrath on that one. That was over his head. Uh, Noah's been a little high on both of those passes, those last two passes. <laughs> Third down, 10 yards to go for Walpole from their own 38 yard line. McKenzie keeps it, gets up to close to another first down. It'll be a yard shot to the 47. Fourth down and a yard. We'll see if the uh, Walpole decides to go for it here. And it looks like they are not. They're going to punt it away. Foynes out to do the kicking. Goes to Nick, boots it away, kind of a line drive, bounces, hits the, the player, nowhere to go. Dropped back at about the 14 yard line of Milford and that's where the Scarlet Hawks will take over. Number seven, Aiden Watson on the recovery. They're going to mark it on the 15. They gave him the 15 yard line. And off to Arujo, gets back to the line of scrimmage, and that's about it. Arujo on the carry, stopped by a herd of Thunderbolts. <laughs> second down. Second down, and about, well, they gave him about a half a yard on that, so second and nine and a half. Buckley going, oh, avoids the tackle. Going, he's got, <coughs> bang, hit, <coughs> big hit by Cantrell. <coughs> Good reception by Jason Stokes. <coughs> first down for Milford at the 35. <coughs> That's good recovery by Cantrell because Stokes was uncovered. Uh, Cantrell had someone further down the field, saw that there was nobody at Stokes and got over there in time and got there just as the ball was received. Big hit. First and 10. Araujo trying to get around the side. Good. And he goes out of bounds at about the 40, 41 yard line. Pick up of six on the play. Second down, Second down and about four. Now they're going to move it to the 47, so it'll be second and three. Okay, give it to uh, Sudo. 
He's up for a first down to the 46, seven yard line of Milford. Buckley back to pass, he's going deep. Oh, wide open. There was nobody covering him. Uh, Jason Stokes with a 53 yard score. He was wide, there was nobody within 25 yards of him. I don't know what happened on the, the defensive play there. The kick is up and good by Araujo. So Walpole cuts, comes up now to uh, 24 to 14. <clears throat> Boy, it was almost as if Walpole was shot a player on that play. Uh, Stokes was just wide open. There was nobody anywhere near him. All right, so Walpole will get the ball back here. Abdal Kalak back at the four. John Dayer and Logan Keyes, the up men. Ground ball to Abdal. He's up, cutting to the right. Up to the 40, 45, 47 yard line. Another tremendous return by Jamal Abdal Kalak. Walpole will take over on their own 47 yard line. Uh, they're going to mark on the 46 yard line. First and 10 for the Timberwolves. Taken down by number 20, Eli Rosenberg. Walpole, first and 10 from the 46 yard line. McKenzie back out with the play. Timberwolves come up to the line of scrimmage. And off to Keys, hits the middle of the line, gets maybe a yard. Number 18, Keys on the carry. Pick up of a yard for Logan. Second and nine. Second down. Second and nine. Going deep, overthrown. He was looking for Abdal Kalak on the far side, incomplete. It'll bring up a third and nine for Walpole. Third down, third and nine. Third down here for Walpole. McKenzie back to pass, dumps one up, incomplete. He was looking for keys, and Walpole will be forced to punt away. Fourth down, fourth and nine. Fourth 
Nick Foynes comes out to do the punting. Stokes and uh, Watson back deep. Ball comes to, they're gonna let it bounce and Walpole downs it on the 20 yard line, 23 yard line. It was downed by uh, Joey Malone for Walpole. And Mil uh, Milford will take over on their 23 yard line. Milford will start first and 10 from the 28 yard line. I'm sorry. 20th. The 23 yard line. Nate Scudo, the lone back for Milford. He gets, nope, Buckley's gonna pass. Fires over the middle, knocked down. Great play by uh, Kevin Needham. Cutting in front, knocked that ball down. Second down, 10 yards to go for Milford. Buckley looking to pass. He's going deep. Little bang in there. No flag. Kevin Needham on the coverage. Looked like incidental contact going down the field with uh, C.J. Farrell. And it'll be a third and 10 for Milford. Third and 10 for Milford. Buckley gonna go pass it. Going again the same way. Incomplete. And again, Logan Keys on the coverage for Walpole. It'll bring up a fourth and 10 in a punting situation for Milford as Walpole's secondary has been outstanding in this drive, completely uh, covering the three, uh, three pass attempts by uh, Jack Buckley. Nick Araujo back to punt for Milford. Jamal at the Walpole 44. Kick. Jamal calls a fair catch at the Walpole 38. And that's where Walpole will take over on their own 38 yard line. First and 10. Walpole's on top. It looks like she would like to get a nice long drive here ending in some kind of points. Uh, they hold a 24-14 advantage. They had scored uh, 24 straight points before uh, Jason, uh, Jason Stokes scored early in this third quarter. Keys with the ball gets hit right away. No gain on the play. Actually, a loss of a yard on the play. Second and 11 for Walpole.
Noah rolling to his left. He's got room. He's at the 45, 50. Goes down on the 46 yard line, 45 yard line of Milford. Pickup of 18 on the play by Noah. Number 12, McKenzie on the carry. New set of downs for the T Wolves in uh, uh, Milford territory. Watson, first down, first and 10. And off to Keys, cutting up field. He's to the 40. Flag coming in. Goes down to the 27. But the flag came in. It could be against Walpole. Be holding on Walpole. Spot of the foul, so it'll come back to the 33, 43. So it'll be a pickup of two for Keys. First down. And it looks like about nine for Walpole. First and nine. Kenzie back to pass. Fires wide open. Great catch over there. Abdal Kalak on the 32. Pick up of 11 on the play. And a new set of downs for the Timberwolves at the Milford 33. Mackenzie on the flat. He's got keys. Keys to the 35, 30 inside to about the 27, 29 yard line maybe. Keys on the carry. To the, they're gonna mark it on the 28. Pick up a four on that play. Oh, looks like six. Pick up of six. Second and four for Walpole. Again, on the flat to Keys. Keys cuts it upfield. Goes to the 30, 25. Out of bounds at about the 23, 22 yard line. First down, Walpole. Now uh, they're gonna mark it on the, oh, they mark it all the way down to the 11, to the 10. Pickup of 18 on the play. He first, first down for Walpole. First and goal they're saying now. McKenzie runs it, he gets, Back to about the maybe to the nine yard line. Pick up of a yard. Three forty eight and counting left in the third quarter. Walpole still up by ten. Final tackle number fifty six, Keith Lee and number forty four, Owen Matthews. Second and goal for Walpole from the nine. Hand off to John Dayer. 
Dyer is in, standing up. Walpole goes in again. John Dyer with a nine yard run for the TD. The Walpole comes back again. Nick Foynes attempting his fifth PAT of the evening. Fourth PAT and a, th and a field goal. Ball is down, the kick is up, and into the woods. Walpole takes a lead, 31 to 14 now. Back up to a 17 point lead for the T-Wolves with 3.20 to go in the third quarter. Walpole answered that uh, opening drive of Nate Milton's, Milford's, uh, where they uh, scored. Uh, actually, it was, was on the, the drive they had lost, and it was on a uh, fumble recovery that set that up. Uh, but uh, Milford, uh, you know, was able to go in and score at 312 of the period, but at 740, just four, a little over four minutes later, uh, John Dayer powers in from nine yards out. And Walpole gets those seven points right back again. Nick Foynes ready to kick off here for the T-Wolves. A boomer back to Stokes on the five. He's up to the 10, cutting to his left, up to the 20, cuts inside and is driven out of bounds at about the 28-yard line. And that's where Milford will take over at their own 28, first and 10. Number 41, Patrick Webb, and number 53, Marco O'Brien on the... Marco O'Brien and Patrick oh. Webb on the tackle for Walpole. From the 30, from the 28. 3.13 left to go in the third quarter. Buckley in the back. Farrell again. He's gone. Milford comes right back with Jason. No, with uh, number three. Jason Stokes. Uh, let's see, a 72, 72-yard pass. And that was from, I think, from Nicaragua. Arajo's kick is good. So Walpole's lead is cut back to 31-21. Took uh, just 22 seconds for that play. Once again, uh, Stokes was wide open. There was nobody anywhere near him. And uh, he just blew down 72 yards for that score. So we'll start it again here. Dayer and Keys are up at about the 21. 2021. 20, uh, Jamal is back inside the 10 at about the eight yard line. Arojo will Arajo will kick off here. Jamal on the two. 10, 15. Cutting upfield. 
25, and he loses his footing and goes down at the 27-yard line. Walpole will take over there on their own 27. All right, we've got 250 left to go in the third quarter here. Don't go away, folks. This uh, game looks like it's going to be uh, a shootout again, much like the Mansfield game was last week. Hopefully it's with the same outcome for the uh, Timberwolves. McKenzie looking, going over the middle incomplete. He was looking for... Uh, St. Cyr, and the ball was shot. Second down and 10 for Walpole. Highly rated fried dough being served. And up to Keys. He gets up to about the 26. Be a, a loss of one on the play. Now they're gonna uh, put it at the 20, so no, no, no loss. Third and 10 for Walpole. Kenzie rolling left, looking incomplete, was out of bounds. And McGrath was the intended receiver, but the ball was out of bounds. It'll bring up a fourth down and a punting situation for Walpole. Fourth down, fourth and ten. Stokes back to do the punting. And it looks like procedure on Walpole. We'll move the ball back to the 23, 22. And uh, Foynes will kick again. Looks, I think. Watson and Stokes at about the 45 of Milford awaiting this punt. Oh, a shot kick, it's gonna go out of bounds. No. It's down to the wall pole, 41. Oh, bad, Nick, that was a bad time for a, a bad punt there. Wall, and Milford takes over on their own uh, wall pole, 41, with a minute 49 to go in the third quarter. <coughs> Nate Scudo, the lone back for Milford. He gets the ball up the, hits the middle of the field and gets down to about the 40, uh, 30. Uh, let's see, they're gonna mark him on the 38. Scudo on the carry. On the 38. Pickup of three. Second and seven. Second and seven.
Buckley back to pass. Goes long over the middle. What a catch by number 14, uh, C.J. Farrell down at the Walpole 12. Pick up of 26 on the play, right over the middle. And he was covered. New set of downs for the maroon, uh, scarlet and white. Hand off to Arujo. He may have got a, a yard or two. Number 18, Arujo on the carry. To the 12 yard line. It'll be second and seven. Well, second and seven for Wall, uh, Milf, Milford. <laughs> Buckley keeping, going. He goes out of bounds inside the five. Looks like it's about the three yard line. It'll be first and goal for Milford. First down, first and goal from the four-yard line. Yeah, they're marking the ball on the four. So first and goal from the four for the Scarlet Hawks. Araujo with it, the ball, line pushing, and they're gonna mark him just short of the goal line at the one. And that ends the third quarter here at Milford. So they will switch sides of the field and it'll bring up a, I think a third and uh, one, third and goal from the one for Milford. Trailing by 10 with one quarter to go in this uh, MIAA Division III semifinal game. Like we said, the winner will face the winner of the Milton uh, Westfield game, which will be played tomorrow night in the D3 Super Bowl at Gillette Stadium, either December, Friday, December 1st, or Saturday, December 2nd. Milford has uh, come alive here in this third quarter with a pair of touchdowns, and they're knocking on the door once again, looking to cut the lead to uh, three. So it will be second down and goal from inside the one yard line. Second and goal from the one. Hand off to Araujo and he is in. Walpole's lead, let's see, Milford is, uh, Araujo looks like he's down again. He gets up and just a little slow getting up, that's all.
The kick is up and good by Joey McGee. So Walpole's lead is cut down now to 31-28. Three-point advantage for Walpole. <laughs> Walpole needs to put something into the end zone here. McGee will kick off, so obviously Araujo's kicking foot is bothering him. He will just be able to do the running, maybe. McGee approaches, gets it off. It's taken on the run by Keyes. He's up to the 15, going wide, cuts it upfield. To, to the, he'll go to the 24 yard line, and that's where Walpole will take over on the 24. First and 10 for the Timberwolves. Oh, they marked it now on the 25. Over the middle. Complete to Abdel Kalak. He's going down the sidelines and he's pulled down at the 22, 21 yard line of Milford. 25, 50, 54 yard reception by Jamal. So first down for Walpole. At the 21, they were discussing whether or not that was a Haas caller. From here, it looked like a Haas caller tackle, which would be a, an add-on to the end of the run. The uh, Walpole coaching staff obviously wanting that uh, call, move them that much closer to the end zone. There is a Haas caller call on Milford. So Walpole, this will move the ball down to the, just outside of the 10 yard line. A big, big play there. But it was about the only way they were gonna be able to stop uh, Jamal on that, uh, he was ahead of the guy and the guy just reached out and hauled him down. First and 10 for Walpole at about the 11. Keys with the ball and he gets nowhere on the first attempt. No gain on the carry, it'll be second down. Second down, no gain on that play. Second and 10 for Walpole.
Here's the snap. McKenzie looks, and the ball is knocked down by Farrell. Knocked that ball down. Brings up a third and 10 for Walpole. I think uh, on that one, McKenzie looked like he was looking to drop off a little screen pass. But uh, Farrell got his hand up and knocked it down. Third down and 10 for Walpole at the 11. McKenzie looking, firing. Touchdown, Jamal Abdul Kalak. So Jamal puts Walpole back up on top again by 10. Still lots of time in this one. 10.46 left of the game. Nick Foynes with a key extra point here. Snap, the ball is down, the kick is good. And Walpole takes the lead back again. Oh, they continue to lead. 38-28, Walpole's lead. We've only played a minute 14 seconds of the fourth quarter, folks, so don't go away. This one's gonna come right down to the end again. Another uh, very high scoring affair. All right, Foyne's getting ready to kick off. Stokes and Farrell back deep for Milford. This one comes to Stokes. He's up to the 20 and hit right there at the 20 yard line. It was a uh, uh, Patrick Webb with the hit there. Big, big hit. And number Michael Pileski. Michael with the, uh, also there. So it'll be first down from Milford from their own 21. <coughs> uh, Walpole's got to call a timeout as it looked like there was a miscommunication there. Four, five, six, eight, ten, eleven. As Cash Cantrell started to go off, and he, they were only calling him over to talk to him, but they, uh, he was so out of position, they had to call the timeout then. 10.41 left in regulation here. Your Timberwolves on top, 38-28. All right, both teams come back out after the timeout. Pass complete to Stokes. He gets up to the 32. And a new set of downs for Milford. Uh, they're going to mark it at the 31, but still give them the first down. Uh, 
Hand up to Rajo. He gets two yards up to the 33. The second and eight for Milford. Buckley back to pass, he's going long and deep. Nobody there but white jerseys, oh. He lucked out there. There were three, three Timberwolves there beyond the re attended receiver, uh, Ishmael Kamara. And uh, that, that was uh, unbelievable that uh, he was that far ahead of them. So it'll bring up a third and nine. Third and eight, I guess, for Milford. Buckley again, back to pass, throws off, gets it off. Complete and nowhere, not shot, up to the 38. To Sudo, up to the 38 of Milford. Pick up a five, but it'll be fourth down and about three, long three shot four. And it looks, brings up a punting situation. Kick. They're going to let that. There's a miscommunication again there for Walpole. Ball will be downed on the 18 yard line of Walpole. On their own 18. First and 10 from the 18. Eight minutes, 43 seconds left in regulation. Walpole's lead is 10, and they've got a first and 10 on their own 18-yard line. Going right to left on your TV screen. Hand off to Keys, cuts it up over the 20, maybe the 21. I think they're gonna give him the 21. Pickup of three. Second and, Second and seven for the T Wolves. Hand off to Dayer, I think. Keys on the carry. No, nope, it was Logan Keys. He gets up to the 24. Picked up by number 44, Owen Matthews. Pick up of three. Third down. Third down and about four and a half. Really need a first down here. Mackenzie and the keeper. And he's gonna be dropped back at the 19. And it'll bring up a punting situation. Backfield by number 56, Keith Lee. Fourth down and about eight. Foynes will be booting the ball away. Second 
6.33 and counting left in regulation. Farrell and Stokes back at the 45 of Milford. Foynes gets the kickoff. Gets a wall pole roll. And it will be down at the 46 of Milford. Ball down, but we do have a flag in the backfield. A flag back down deep. Foynes is lip, limping off the field. I didn't see if he got hit or not. So this will be, I think, offsides. Okay, so I'm just an offsides uh, encroachment. I'll run into the kick. Only a five yard penalty. Okay, so still fourth down. Snap to Foynes. Gets it off. Fumble. <laughs> and he goes out of bounds. It will be Milford ball at the wall pole. There's a flag back at the 49 that they're picking up. There is a flag on the play. Looks like it uh, might be against, could be against Walpole. We'll see. Uh, discussing things here. It's on the 45. <coughs> Milford's moving back, so it could be against them. Looks like a chop block, I think, is what they're calling it against Milford. <coughs> and the ball will go back to the Milford. Forty, 40 yard line. To the Milford 40. <laughs> so Walpole picks up about uh, 25 yards on that with 5.56 left in regulation. Buckley the lone back in the back going. Blocked. Oh, almost and almost picked off by Walpole. Let's see, that was... Uh, Brendan Kearns with the block. Another one of Walpole's captains. And he almost was able to intercept it too. He dove, went straight up, he dove, and ball fell just shot in front of him. Second and 10 for Milford. Buckley throws it. And he gets up to the 46. Pickup of six. Third down and four for the uh, Scarlet Hawks. Clock still running, 527. And counting.
Buckley's going to try to run with it. He's going to, and he's brought down. Walpole with the tackle. Brendan Kearns again there with the tackle. Lost back to uh, the original line of scrimmage, the 40, Milford 40, and it brings up a fourth down. And 10 to go with 4.59 left in regulation. Don't go away, folks. This game ain't going anywhere. <laughs> This is uh, the, the excitement and the tension in this game is just like the fourth quarter of the Mansfield game last week. And uh, it's just Walpole's offense has shown that it can score and score lots. So we'll say one of these teams will be going to Gillette Stadium. And in less than five minutes, we will know who that team is. Fourth down and 10, Milford's gonna go for it. Buckley back to pass, looks, goes in the corner, complete for a first down to the Walpole 45. And he goes out of bounds to stop the clock. First and 10 for Milford in Walpole territory. Buckley is it out. Knocked away nicely by Shane Brennan, but he looks like he's uh, might have hurt himself. He's coming off the field. Yeah, he's going off now. Nope, it's gonna stay on, he'll stay on. Well, they're making him go off now. A little confusion here for Walpole. Walpole back to their three-man front. Buckley back to pass, looks, throws, incomplete. He was looking for uh, He was looking for uh, I can't find number 44 in the roster. All right, brings up third and 10. For Milford. Buckley looking, throws complete. Wide open with a line of blockers in front of him. And they get it down to the 22 yard line of Walpole. That was caught by uh, Joey McGee. New set of downs for Milford. Buckley looking, looking, going down. He's got, no, it's overthrown him. Way overthrown. Brings up a second and 10. 4.15 showing on the clock now. Second and 10. Buckley looking, firing, incomplete. His pass was short. He was looking for McGee. Oh, no, for CJ Farrell. And threw it into the dirt. 
Brings up a third and 10. Buckley looking, gets away, gets away, and being chased, fires, complete to Stokes, again down to the 13 yard line, but he was kept in bounds. <coughs> New set of downs here. I don't know how, how uh, <coughs> Buckley ever got away from that. Uh, Callahan, I'm sorry. <coughs> Buckley. Buckley looking, throwing, complete. And in for the touchdown is C.J. Farrell. That was a 13-yard uh, TD. Time, 8.32. McGee will attempt the extra point here. Kick is down, it is good. And Walpole's lead is cut back to three again at 38-35. We have three minutes and 28 seconds left in this one of regulation. Walpole's got to do it one more time. Keep possession and march the ball down the field. Get some points if you can, but kill that clock. They're going to try an onside kick here. Araujo kicks it, and Johnny Dea dives on it at the Walpole 41. They may be offsides. Uh, let's see, there is a flag. Offsides on Walpole. Offsides on Walpole. Oh. That again. That's unbelievable. That's weird. So he'll try his onside kick again. Picks it over to Needham. Needham picks it up the 20, slips and falls, and gets up to about the 23. And that's where Walpole will take over on their own 23 yard line. Three minutes, 20 seconds left to go in regulation. Walpole has a first and 10 from their 24 yard line. Kenzie keeping it. Got a flag coming in, they'll probably be holding. 
McKenzie holds on to it. Taken down by Keys, two flags in the play. Let's see. Holding on Walpole. Holding on Walpole. Okay, so it'll move the ball back to the 14. First and 20 for Walpole. <clears throat> Three fifteen left on the clock. Timberwolves come up to the line. Fires over the middle. Let's say in. The final play complete. Complete to St. Cyr, I think. Uh, There's only a pickup of a yard on the play. <clears throat> Milford calls a timeout. 2.45 left to go. Second and nine for Walpole. Second and nine for the Timberwolves from the 25 yard line. The orange and blue comes up to the line. Mackenzie looking, firing, complete. Is McGrath, and he breaks free. He's to the 50, to the 40, 30, 20. Looking at the sideline, 10, 5. Touchdown, Walpole! Unbelievable. That was McGrath, right? Will McGrath on that. 86-yard uh, touchdown. And that was all McGrath. He uh, broke out at the uh, about the 25, 30 yard line and just broke through. So it looked like he might go down. He stayed on his feet and then just outraced everybody. Foynes attempting the extra point here. Snap, the ball is down, the kick is good. Walpole goes back on top, 45 to 35. Back to that 10 point lead with just two minutes and 29 seconds left in regulation. This, uh, it's just an unbelievable game, folks. The last two weeks, it's hot attack city for us old guys up here. 2.29 left, Walpole's lead is 10 points once again, 45-35. The brigade going crazy over on the far side of the field, all decked out in white.
Boynes approaches, booms it away. Drops it at the 10, up to the 15, 20, and goes out of bounds at about the 20, three yard line. At the 23, it looks like. Aiden Watkins on the return. And uh, they're gonna mark the 24 now. So first and 10 for the Scarlet Hawks on their own 24 yard line. Complete. Uh, Farrell gets up to the 44 from uh, Milton. Kevin Needham on the stop. And uh, Buckley uh, s s s uh, spikes the ball to get a timeout here. Two minutes and 12 minutes to go here in the regulation. First, second and 10 for Milford from their 43 yard line. Buckley back to pass, in there, gets, throws it away. Boy, he got out of the grasp there as... Uh, Pass incomplete, heavy on the defense. It'll be it was third down, third down. For Walpole, it was uh, Anthony Shamoon and Aiden Abadie who were in there on that and had him wrapped up. Looked like they had him, but uh, he was able to get the pass off. And it brings up a third and 10. And a timeout being taken by Walpole with two minutes and seven seconds left in regulation. Your T Wolves on top. 45-35. So. Both teams anxiously uh, trying to get more points on the board here. We already had 80 points scored in this game tonight. Unbelievable. We knew Walpole could score. I was a little surprised that uh, Milford has scored as much as they have against Walpole, but you know, we're still up by 10 points here. Third and 10. Snap back to Buckley, he fades. He's looking, he's looking, throws complete. Down to the 40-yard line of Walpole. Second and 10 as he once again spiked it on first down. Milford must have used up all their uh, timeouts already. Second and 10 from the Walpole, 40. Buckley looking, looking being chased by Shamoon, throws it off to the side, and big hit. Over to the 40, 30, 35 yard line of Walpole. Third down. Brings a third and five. We are under two minutes to play here in regulation. Third down, third and five. Okay, Buckley back, looking, looking, throws wide open, incomplete, over the head. <laughs> Tackle made by, I mean, uh, the breakup made by, uh, Cash Cantrell. Four, 
Fourth down and five. This is the whole season for Milford comes down to this play. Buckley fades, looks, throws, complete. And brought down at the 21. Cantrell slow getting up again. One minute, 32 seconds, 92 seconds left in this game, folks. Before we forget, we'd like to uh, congratulate the uh, field hockey team, Porkers, as they will be playing tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. at Worcester Polytech Institute for the state championship for the third straight year against the Andover Golden Knights. Golden Warriors, Golden Warriors. Good luck, girls. You've played an excellent season so far. We have uh, 92 seconds left in this one. Like we've been saying, the winner goes to the Super Bowl. New set of downs for <laughs> Milford. Buckley looking, looking, throwing, incomplete. Second down. And 10 for Milford from Walpole's 21. <laughs> uh, Buckley's looking, throw it. Intercepted by Walpole. And going down with it. It's uh, Walpole, that may do it. Walpole with the interception. And with Walpole brings it back to the 35, but the officials are discussing something. I see a flag on the field. Oh, this may not be over. There is a flag on the field. And the stars have come out with the uh, brigade over on the far side there. Unsportsmanlike conduct uh, on Walpole. That will move the ball back to the 30 yard line. Minute 20 to go on this one. Kenzie take, gets it and takes a knee. Second down. Folks, just a reminder at the end of the game, please stay off our field. We have games to play tomorrow and games to play on Thanksgiving. Second down and 10. One minute to go in this. Takes the snap again, takes another lee. Yeah, and that's it. Walpole takes it. Jamal Abdal Kalak. No, no, it's not. Uh, Kevin Needham running into the end zone to be to greet his friends. Just a reminder as the clock ticks down, we just ask that all fans stay off of our field. 
So Walpole will be going to the Super Bowl. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, after an 0-2, 1-3 and start, nobody would have seen this coming except for the Walpole Timberwolves and Coach Sullivan and his uh, coaching staff as Walpole will be heading to the Division Three Super Bowl against the winner of the Milton Westfield game, which will be played tomorrow. What a game. Uh, we were going to run down the scoring here, and it, there's a lot of it, as you can tell by the final score of 45-35. Okay. Milford got on the board first with Nicaragua scoring on a 28-yard run. He kicked the extra point. Milford led 7 0. Uh, Nick Foynes uh, kicked a 27-yard field goal, making it uh, 7 3 uh, Milford uh, at the end of the first quarter. Then Walpole scored three straight touchdowns in the second quarter. Cash Cantrell scored in a six-yard pass from Noah McKenzie. Jamal abdal Kalak scored in a five-yard pass from Noah. And Logan Keyes ran in for 18 yards. So at the half, after three extra points by Nick Foynes, Walpole tw led 24 to seven. Uh, Milford started off the third quarter with uh, Stokes and uh, Jason Stokes scoring in a 53-yard pass from Jack uh, Battle. Uh, then um, John Dayer tallied a nine-yard run for Walpole, making the score 31-14 Walpole. Uh, Jason Stokes took a, pulled in a 72-yard pass from Nick uh, Arojo, and um, Walpole's lead was cut to 31-21. Then in the fourth quarter, Arojo scored from a yard out, uh, cutting Walpole's lead to 31-28, just four seconds into the fourth quarter. But... Uh, Jamal, as he has done all year, pulled in an 11-yard scoring pass from uh, McKenzie, putting Walpole back up on top, 38-28. C.J. Farrell caught a 13-yard pass um, to cut the lead again to 38-35. But Will McGrath, with his, I think his first score of the year, pulled in an 86-yard scoring pass from Noah McKenzie. Foynes' extra point made it 45 35, and that's our final score. So Walpole improves to eight and three, and even more important, is going to the Super Bowl. So we will be, uh, congratulations to the team and the coaching staff. We would like to thank you for watching this Walpole Media Corporation broadcast of Walpole High School Varsity Football. Once again, your final score from Bridgewater Raynham, Walpole 45, Milford 35. Thank you.